Speaking on LBC, the former Conservative Treasury Minister said Britain's productivity levels are far more dangerous than the hard Brexit most Remainers fear would damage the UK's economy. Lord O'Neill argued Europhiles failed to acknowledge being in the European Union has not helped UK's productivity levels to rise, which he claimed to be 20% lower than they should for an economy of its size. He said, in the past decade, the apparent underperformance of our productivity compared to the previous trend, accumulates to 20%, that's a bigger hit to our society and economy than anything we've been talking about resulting from leaving in the worst of Brexits. We need to have it in perspective, the second thing my fellow Remainers fail to acknowledge, we've been in the EU for 45 years and despite all the things it probably has helped us. With it hasn't stopped our productivity performance getting worse than other countries in the world, whether they are in the EU or not, it's got worse compared with Germany and the US. However great the EU is, it hasn't helped us deal with that, the productivity challenge is way bigger than whether we're in the EU or not. And talked about so much less, the former Conservative Treasury Minister voted against Brexit in the 2016 EU referendum but appeared to change his tune earlier this year on the effects leaving the EU will have on the British economy. Brexit News, Lord O'Neill claims EU has not helped UK's productivity levels to rise in 45 years, image, Getty LBC, however great the EU is, it hasn't helped us deal with our productivity performance Lord O'Neill Lord O'Neill admitted that a stronger economic performance by Britain could disprove the negative expectations he and other experts had for Brexit Britain. He said, I'm almost embarrassed to admit that it might sound like that. Because, of course, in principle, I share the views of many that Brexit is a really weird thing for the UK to impose on itself from an economic perspective, I certainly wouldn't have thought the UK economy would be as robust as it currently seems, the Tory peer explained British northwestern regions were crucially driving economic growth, far more than anyone could have expected. And he said the improving global outlook had also helped reduce Brexit risks in several sectors and industries. Lord O'Neill said, some parts of the country, led by the North West, are actually doing way better than people seem to realize or appreciate, as well as this crucial fact, the rest of the world is also doing way better than many people would have thought a year ago, so it makes it easier for the UK, maybe this means the country's going to be able to cope with Brexit better than, certainly, somebody like me might have thought some time ago.